A lot of people complain access to scanning is a big problem. So we were really interested in this machine because you can see it behind me. It's one that you can actually do here on the conference floor. So joining me now is Eddie and Maria. Basically, it's an advanced technology that enables clinical scans, MR scans of the brain, to be performed anywhere. Right. Whether we're in the conference center here in Toronto, whether we're in a physician's office, whether we're in the Alzheimer's treatment center, an infusion center, and the like. The team actually was visionary a few years back and thought that we needed to really bring MRI to the masses where the people are rather than the bottleneck that exists with conventional MRI. Cost wise? Well, this is orders of magnitude less expensive than a high field scan. Because in addition, the machine is much less money, but there's no sighting cost. With a high field MR, the build out can be millions and millions of dollars. Here, it's a 15 amp electrical plug. Unplug your microwave, plug this in, you're good to go. I'm about to get into the scan. I don't have to, like a, a regular MRI, you have to take off metal mm -hmm. and everything. I don't have to take anything off. You don't. So it's ultra low field, so nothing's going to heat up and burn you, so you are good to go. So we'll get you to back up and just relax your head down. And you can use this bar to help pull yourself up here. Just, yeah. Oh, here. There we go. So you're going to pull yourself up to the top of your head, hits the very top of the Okay, all the way in. Great. And just hold still there. So it'll be about six minutes, okay? Okay. Come on out. Okay. Well, that was interesting. I just spent six minutes in that machine. It was kind of relaxing, meditative. We're going to look at what some of these images look like. Here we have on the screen a variety of images from a patient that presented with some cognitive impairment and a headache. This is something that we call a flare image. It shows us pathology in the brain. We have another sequence down here that we call T1. This looks more anatomic. It gives us a sense of the anatomy of the brain. If the physician wants to assess volumetric changes, changes in the volume of the brain, this is the sequence that's used in order to do that, where we can see if an area of the brain is shrunken, maybe in the frontal region, maybe this is frontotemporal dementia. This is not my brain. That's correct. <laughs> this Absolutely. is an example this is brain. This an example brain. And not mine, yeah. We also, the <laughs> images can be in different planes and orientations. So. These images are what we call axial. Think of it as a salami slice through your brain. This is sagittal, it's a sideways image. Hopefully more people can afford to have MRI machines in their office, right? Absolutely. And instead of having to rely on these big centers where sometimes you're, it's far away in location or it's hard to get to.